Let's go YouTube. Tonight I had decided that I wouldn't have an air hose off my tank so I could fill up my tires. And I had made a trip to AutoZone and brought this air hose for like $13. And it's a quarter inch line with a quarter inch male fitting on both ends. And since I want to put it down there where my drain valve is, it's obviously not going to fit there like that. So I went to Lowe's and Home Depot to find this piece and I eventually found it at Lowe's and it's an elbow, quarter inch elbow on both ends, female and male. And that's going to go in there like that. <coughs> or like that, excuse me. And it's gonna fit in like that. Another side is gonna go to my tire chuck. And I was looking for a tire chuck that had the gauge built in for cheap, and I couldn't find one that's in my price range. And this one was like $3, so I just picked up this one. And I had bought a tire gauge so I could know how much pressure I put in there for like another two dollars. That's what this is here. Fill it up and you check it with this side and then pressure reading comes out over here. And what I'm doing now is waiting for my tank to completely air out so I could test all the fittings and whatnot. So now I'm about to take out this drain valve. I don't like how my Teflon tape that came off, so I don't know if there's some Teflon tape left over in the tank. I won't be able to really tell unless I blow it out somehow. But that will be bad for my bag if I get Teflon tape in my lines and my valves and whatnot. And if you guys don't know how to wrap Teflon tape around fittings, you would want to wrap tape around clockwise like you were screwing the fitting in, into the whatever you were like screwing it into so the Teflon tape wouldn't unravel while you're putting it in that's why you would want to do it counterclockwise I mean clockwise I'm sorry and you don't want to go all the way to like the end of the threads so you want to stop like right like two threads before the beginning of actual thread. That should be tight. And what I'm gonna do now is see if this leaks around it and not onto it. I'll tighten this back up. So it seems to be sealed around it. And now what I'm gonna do is wrap the mouth thread in Teflon tape. So I got everything plumbed in right. But I had a problem with the holes that I got from AutoZone. Um from AutoZone it had like a little piece here that will let let this turn freely and still be connected and between it it was leaking and I couldn't fix that there was like no way to fix it and so I just returned it and got my money back 
and I had one to O'Reilly's and got this hose for pretty much the same price with, without that free spinning thing everything is hooked up right the tank is all all filled up and pressurized that now I'm gonna show you that it works I'm gonna use the front as example because I already did the back here I have my air gauge I'm gonna show you what how much pressure is in the tires and it's at about That's my compressor kicking in. I have way too much air in here, so I'm gonna air some out. But as you see, it's, it's at about 47 now, so it just jumped 10 pounds of pressure right when I connect it, so that is good and that is how you put an air hose in an air tank for your air system or your airbags or out of air hose Don't drop me, yeah, clip on limousine, yeah drink it lean, yeah, pro methazine, yeah in a dream, yeah, thinking about